Hey, how's it going everybody? The Green Onion here, back with some more die-cast stuff. And today we're doing a quick restoration on this uh, Matchbox number 36 refuse truck. So, this thing is pretty old. I, I think it says 1979 right here. But I'm not sure if that's the casting date when this casting was made, or the actual, um, when this thing, was, the actual truck was made. Because that seems like a long time. That's over 40 years. And to be honest, this truck is actually in fairly decent shape. Looks like it came from about the 80s, though. Just based on the wheels and the whole super fast thing. So either this thing was just put in a box and neglected, or the kid who owned it was very, very nice with it. Because even the decals on the side here, like, look at that. It's like almost brand new for 40 years. So I think I'm going to try and keep those around. It just needs a little bit of a repaint. And the wheels need a little help too. They're a little wobbly, wonky. The axles need to be straightened out. But I will try to save the wheels. So it's always the first step is to drill out the posts. So you can take a look at the parts here. Here's the base. Matchbox Super Fast. Matchbox Toys Limited. So this is after they were uh, uh, br broken away from Lesney. So this is no longer Lesney. So this is probably about maybe late 80s I would think. So we got the wheels on there. I'm going to have to grind these tabs out to get the wheels out because I'm going to straighten out the axles. And the wheels themselves look to be in pretty good shape. So I see no reason not to save them. The, the only problem is they just uh, have a lot of chrome loss. But I do have the chrome pen for that. So I think I'll be saving these wheels for now and they fit the garbage truck or refuse truck. I don't know if refuse is an English term. I think we in America say garbage trucks, we never say refuse truck, but I guess that is an English slang term. I'm not really sure though. But there's the base. We have this little assembly here that kind of slides off, and that's the little, the little dumper, the little garbage collecting box here. It's kind of just a big box here with this little sliding mechanism, so when they're together, it kind of pushes, pushes through here like that. So you can put your trash in the back and slide it on out. So that's that piece. Then the actual box here, Collectomatic. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> and then we got the uh, Metro DPW66. I think that stands for Department of Public Waste. So that's that. And then we have the actual uh, body of the truck. And let's try to get this windscreen on here, or windshield. All these trucks are very hard to get out. There we are. <clears throat> Even has like an arrow that would show the uh, factory workers where the uh, windshield would need to be facing to be put in the truck, which is kind of interesting. And the win window itself is in very good condition. Very, very nice overall. I just don't understand the color. It's red. I did a restoration on another uh, truck before, a articulated truck that had the same kind of style. And the windshield was also red, so I guess Matchbox just really likes trucks with red windshields. So moving on to the body now. All in all, it looks pretty good for uh, 40 whatever years this was made. Just a little bit of paint loss, which I can fix easily. Matchbox 36 slash 5. That looks kind of like a flatbed truck without the uh, garbage bin on the back. So, uh, yeah. First step, as always, is to take this, take the metal parts like the base, and I'll grind off the tabs with the Dremel cutting wheel or something like that, or the sphere cutter. Get the wheels off, send these things to the paint stripper. Alright, the next step, as always, is to strip the car. So we have our little paint stripping box. Let's get these in here. And then we're just going to use the citrus strip stuff. Get it all around on there. <clears throat> and that should do it. Alright, we have the jug of warm water ready. We're just going to put all our plastic parts in there, like the window. And I'm going to throw the wheels in there too, just to clean them up a little bit. They don't really need to be in here, but just to 
clean them up a little bit because I'm going to re-chrome them. So in goes that. And the little slidey mechanism for the uh, garbage thing. It's got some hair and dirt in the corner. The only thing I'm not going to be putting in there is the actual box because I don't want to ruin those decals on there. I'm just going to keep those as is instead of having to make new ones. So I'm just going to go over this with like a wet wipe, like a baby wipe or something like that. Just to clean up some of this stuff. Some of that stuff is just plastic scuffing from the cab of the truck being uh, rubbing against the box over the years. And this thing doesn't seem to be in too bad a shape. I'll just go over it with a wet wipe and clean it up that way. Alright, here's how the plastic pieces are looking after the water bath. You can see no dirt or anything has remained in there. There's a little bit of dirt caked in the crevices on this thing. But I got it all out and everything is looking pretty much brand new, especially this windscreen or windshield. It has a nice finish to it. It's going to look great once I uh, put a layer of clear over it. And then the wind, uh, tires and wheels here. They do look pretty good after that, but they still have some light burring, I guess, on the inside edge of the wheels, as you can see there. So I'm going to have to go over that again. Because when this stuff gets like chewed up or something like that, this plastic, it just kind of turns white in general. So it kind of gives it a little white texture right there, which I don't want. So I'll have to cover that up with some black, black paint or something like that. So I think the next step is going to be these wheels. You can see the axles are not straight by any means. They're a bit bent away from all the years in that truck and kids playing with it and whatnot. So I'm just going to take a pliers here like this one and we're just going to bend our axles back into place over time and I won't bore you with that because that is very very boring so I'm just going to cut to when they are straightened out. Alright the wheels and axles are looking pretty straight now as you can see there that one and then the other one right here is looking pretty dang straight. These are hard to get 100% straight. Once they bend and kink, it's very, very hard to get it right, very, like, right back to completely straight as it was before. But I think I did an okay job given the circumstances of this truck. So let's finish off this, these wheels here with some liquid chrome here. This is the liquid chrome, the Molotow, Molotow pen right here. So we're just going to use that and go over our wheels and it, sh whoops, and it should restore them to a bright and shiny looking finish. So yeah, all I'm going to do is basically just clean up our wheels such as like that and they'll be back to good as new. So I don't want to mess that up so I'll cut back to when we're finished. Alright, this is the wheels after the chrome here. You can see they're looking very, very nice. Almost took them back to the factory finish, basically. So that's just with a little bit of the chrome pen. Here's the back of them. And they are ready to go right back on the garbage truck. So let's check on the garbage truck that is sitting in the paint stripper. Alright, the paint stripper has done its thing on this garbage truck. And the paint is just falling off of the things, as you can tell. Look at that. <laughs> one swipe. Half the base has been cleaned off. Let's get another one right here. Wham! Look at that. Look at that paint removal. So let's clean up these uh, pieces of the body and the base, and let's get them ready for the paint. Okay, paint removal was pretty decent on this car. There's still a little bit of areas that it didn't come off. Now on this side, it really didn't want to come off on this side. I don't know what happened here, but that's alright because we have the wire wheel for that. Here's the base, looking pretty good. But yeah, that's why we have the wire wheel. With most of this paint, I'm betting will just come right off. Come off the wire wheel in. So yeah, look at that little area I cleared right there. We'll get all that paint off and get ready for the paint. Alright, so we got the truck body and the base ready for the paint now. Now, I didn't go overly crazy with the wire wheel. As you can see, this side here, I did a little more because the paint was still clinging to the body. As on that side, I kind of cleaned it up. 
but I just did light paint just because because this is being going to be covered in a flat white, so you're not really going to see a gloss finish through it or nothing like that, like a Spectre Flame. And then I left the paint in here. It was really hard to get at in there. It's pretty much still stuck to the uh, body of the car, <clears throat> and that white uh, and the red window will cover up the interior so we won't be seeing that very much and then this area is completely invisible as far as the truck is concerned so we have that and then the base here which cleaned up very nice there's a little bit of paint stuck on that grill yet but overall it's ready to move to the paint booth So after the paint and the clear coat, I had some final details to the front here. You can see it did the lights, the number plate, this little grill thing right there, and the door handles. And this truck is looking very, very nice. I just used the primer and I just glossed over it with the clear coat so it would become gloss instead of the flat white. So that took care of that. I think it turned out pretty good. Here is the base. Also in the gray primer, and just with a clear coat on top of it, so it'll retain its uh, shine. So that being said, it's time to put this car or truck back together. So now that we're all done, here is the finished truck. <clears throat> so I am very happy with the way this one turned out. I think it looks very clean, looks very nice. Everything is painted pretty good. There's no errors or anything that I made. I think I added some nice extra details up front there, such as the headlights and the number plate and that little grill thing over there. So as always, here's a picture of what it looked like before. And now what it looks like after. So the wheels are probably the biggest thing on this truck, but now they are nice and chrome again and the truck rolls smoothly. The axles are again straight and everything looks pretty damn good on this truck it's all cleared out I just there's a little bit of paint uh, wear on there so I fixed that I managed to keep the decals on the sides there because they're in pretty good shape so I didn't really do anything with that but the wheels are the biggest part making this thing look old and tired and uh, one thing I did notice while doing this is I am actually missing a back piece here so you see these little nubs there's actually supposed to be a back cover for this garbage truck which I am missing so I didn't even notice that until I got halfway through restoring this thing so unfortunately this thing is not 100% complete but as this truck is from uh, 1979 right there uh, it's too new to have any like replacement parts for it so this is not like an official Lesney uh, truck or anything like that so it's gonna it, they don't make replacement buckets for it they don't re make replacement pieces and uh, it's not worth it just to get another uh, truck to scrap for this one because <clears throat> these these trucks are just basically everywhere. So uh, I'm not going to bother putting that back on. I think it looks okay as it is. I mean, it was convincing enough to me. I didn't even notice that was missing until later when I noticed these little knobs. I wondered if they went to anything. 
And yeah, I looked up the picture online and sure enough there is a little back piece. So it's not completely done, but in my opinion, it's good enough for what it is. And I think I did a pretty good job uh, restoring the thing to its former glory. So <clears throat> hope you guys like this one. I'll see you guys later.